Hi, in this tutorial we're going to look at another string function in PHP called the substring function. And the substring function or sub str function is used to take a part of a string um, uh, and return that part or that portion of the string that we specify. So we can have a string in a variable and we can extract um, part of that string. Okay, so we can specify a start position of where we want to start that's extracting from in that string and how many characters we want to extract. Okay, so to start with, I'm going to create a variable which will contain a string. So I'm going to say, call it my string, and just a simple little message in there or sentence. So the quick brown fox jumps over the lazy dog. Okay, so I'll add that. All right, and now I'm going to add the substring function, which is sub str. And then in brackets, it takes three arguments. Okay, so there's three things I need to put in here. Firstly, is the string that I want to extract from. So I can either type a string in here inside quotation marks, or I can just use the variable that already contains the string I want to use, which is my string. And then a comma, and after that comes the next parameter, and that is where I want to start from. So the start position of where I want to start extracting from in uh, extracting from my string okay so I want to extract the word quick all right just for this example I'm going to extract the word quick so remember the indexing starts from zero so count zero one two three four okay so we want to start from four and then we add a comma and the last parameter here is how many characters we want to extract so one two three four five letters in this word so we want to extract five characters okay and that's basically it now what this is doing at the moment is using the substring function to take the my string variable start counting from the fourth um, index or index four and then extracting five characters from index four position up to there okay so we can add echo at the start so that we can display the result in the browser and when I go to that um, PHP file in Chrome and refresh the page we can see that quick has printed out there okay so um, that's basically a how to how to extract part of a string um, by specifying where you want to start extracting from and how many characters you want to take out okay now what I'm going to do this time is something a little bit different Okay, so I'm going to um, I'm going to try and find a word in this string. So I'm going to add some variables. I might do it up here. So I've got my string. I'm going to add a variable called uh, find, and I'm going to make that equal to dog. Okay, so I want to find the word dog in this string. Okay, then I'm going to specify, sorry, specify the start position, and I'm going to use a function that we've already used in another tutorial, a different string function, and that is str pos, string position. Okay, so if you're not sure how this works, then you need to go back and watch the string position function um, tutorial. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to say the, the start position, where I want to start extracting from, is so I want to I want to start extracting um, from the my string variable, and I want to start extracting extracting the word find. Okay, so start equals string position my string comma find. Put those variables in there. Okay, stop create a new variable called stop which is equal to string length so now we're using oops, now we're using the string length function all right which will um, find the length or number of characters in the string and then we add find okay so that's what that's what we do first okay now what I'm going to do is change this so where I've got echo substring my string comma four comma five I'm going to change that to dollar sign start 
and then dollar sign stop. Okay. So basically I've got a string variable and that contains the string, the quick round fox jumps over the lazy dog. Then I've got a find variable, which is equal to dog. Start is equal to string position, uh, my string find. Whoops, typo there. My string, comma, find. Okay, so it's going to look in my string and um, it's going to look for find, which is dog. So it's going to look for dog. Stop is equal to the string length of find, which is dog. So that's going to be three characters. So that's going to echo out substring. Okay, so it's going to grab my string and it's going to echo out start. All right, which will be um, from here, the string position of where dog is. So it's going to start from here and then it's going to um, extract this until it's going to extract it for three characters, which is stop. So stop is the string length of find, which is three characters. So it's going to grab, it's going to start from here and it's going to grab three characters and return it. So what we should see when I say this and refresh the page, we should see the word dog. Whoops. And we get an error on line six, which is because I haven't added a semicolon there. So just remember, add a semicolon at the end of your statements. And there we go, we've got dog now. All right, so that works. Um, okay, so now what we could do is something a little bit different. We could print out the string one letter at a time. So I'm going to actually, what I'll do is I'll delete this line here and make just a little bit of space. Now I'm going to print out the string one letter at a time. So I'm going to put in my string, I'm going to create a new variable, my string length equals strlen or string length, my string. Okay, so creating a new variable called my string length, and it's going to contain the length of the string, my string. Um, so it's going to contain the length of this string here, how many characters are in that string. Okay, then we're going to add a for loop. Let's say for i equals zero, dollar sign, i is less than, oops, my string length. Okay, so for i equals zero, while i is less than my string length. Uh, so while it's less than the number of characters in my string, dollar sign i plus plus, so we'll increment by one. And then in this for loop, what we're going to do is echo the substring, sub str, my string. So that's what we want to extract from. We want to extract the um, current letter in this iteration of the, the uh, for loop. So that index and a length of one. Okay. So what this is going to do, I'll just explain in a sec, but what we'll do is add a line break. Oops, so in quotation marks there, we'll add a line break so that each letter prints on a new line, or echoes on a new line. So basically what's happening here, from line seven, created a new variable called my string length, which contains the length of this string here. All right, and then we've got a for loop. We set i to zero, while i is less than my string length, it's going to echo out the substring. All right, so it's going to grab this string, my string. It's going to start counting from i, which will be initially zero. So it's going to start with the first, in the first iteration of the loop, it's going to start with zero, which is t. So index zero is t. And then it's going to extract just one character from that position. So it's going to extract t. It's going to echo that out in a new line, and then i will be i will um, increase by one. So we've got i plus plus will increase by one. So now the index will be one in the for loop. So it will go to one, which is h, and it will extract just the one character, and then a line break. So h will uh, echo out in a new line, and then i will become two. So we've got zero, one, two. 
So substring will start from 2, which is E, and just the one character will echo out in the new line. So we'll keep doing that, and it will echo out every single character in this string on a new line. So let's save that, and refresh. Oops, another error on line 8. I've done it again. Uh, oops, okay, so a little thing I've done there is I haven't put semicolons in to separate the parts of this for loop. So just remember, they're separated by semicolons, not commas. Oops. Okay, refresh. There we go. All right, so we've got the quick brown fox jumps over the lazy dog, each letter and the spaces on a new line. All right, so that's it for this tutorial. It's basically how to use the substring function, but we've combined it with the string position function and the string length function as well um, to um, perform a couple of little tricks. Thanks for watching.